Hello, and welcome back to my channel, Original Works. I'm Lincoln, and today we're going to be talking about radial symmetry for objects that have already been cloned or validated. Now, you know, if you have an object that's already been sculpted on or validated, you can't use radial symmetry any longer in Nomad Sculpt. It doesn't support it, so you have to do something else. So that's what this video is about. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, we're going to show you how to do rotational copy on a normal round surface, random degree placement around an edge on a simple convex surface, one that's a little bit taller so you can use a guide mesh to place your objects easier. And then at the bottom, I'm going to show you how to do sets of mesh. This, in this example, I'm going to show you how to put two mesh together and then rotate copy those around. All right, so this one, we already have this one already validated and sculpted on. Make sure that you have perspective turned off and you're in orthographic view at the bottom. It just makes it easier to rotate the mesh this way. Okay, so here's a big tip. Make sure to group and name your meshes. That way it's easier to easier to keep up with these because very quickly this is going to get out of hand because you're going to have so many fasteners attached to this mesh. Okay, here you can see we're going to force the mirroring and it's okay. It's the warning's always going to come up. Just click yes. And when you do that, you'll see the larger plane so you can see. I don't know why it doesn't do that before. Now I'm going to grab that mesh in the scene menu with a little four arrow icon and drag it down. And then we're going to go and hit separate. So now you have two individual meshes to work with. Now, if you click and select both of them and you try to voxel merge them, what's going to happen is you'll, the gizmo is going to shoot to the original mesh and that's not what you want. So with this technique, you're going to use simple merge instead. So we'll double tap back, go back out of that, reselect the two, hit simple merge. And now you see the gizmos in the center. Now we can rotate these objects around and clone them. So you can see here I have 20 degrees on the snap. I'm going to change it to 30 just so you can see how to do that. And now you just use the clone tool here in the gizmo. You drag on the green axis on the Y plane. So now you can just clone and rotate objects on your mesh. That's how easy it is. Now we're going to click and drag on all the checkboxes and simple merge them all together to keep stay organized. You can rename them if you want. So this is the same process. I'm going to bring a sphere in. We're just going to do a simple rivet head. The only difference is I'm going to turn snapping off. So now we can go through and place these at random spots if you want instead. It's still radial symmetry. And if you were to actually use radial symmetry, you wouldn't be able to do this. Because radial symmetry always divides it up into even increments. Here you can put it, place them randomly wherever you want, but still on a, off of the center axis. Okay, so here's a huge tip for keeping this organized and it's a super easy way to separate all these and keep them all named. So tap and drag through all the boxes to select all these you just made. If you're gonna voxel merge, this is when you change the resolution and it's just habit for me, but you can just simply merge, go up and hit the pencil icon, you rename all these meshes
and then we hit separate and now it will separate them all completely individually instead of in the sets like you just clone them all. It's an easy way to rename them all and separate them all at the same time. Now you can go through and adjust all these um, however you want, you know, move them around. You can see here they're all completely individual. Okay, now we're going to rotate and copy on a convex surface. We're just going to do like a crazy square head and we're going to change the topo use the topology menu to change the density of the mesh and make it a little rounder shape without having to sculpt it. All right, I'm going to place it on here. Now this is the same process again. The only difference is this time, once you clone them, they'll all be out in space, but this is the same way it'd be on a radial symmetry anyway. This is just showing you, you can do this as well. And we're going to change the degrees again. This technique is going to show you how to use a mesh as a guide. And the only reason is because you, you can see here, you've, the shape of this is so extreme that it's going to be hard to see where to place the one on the top side of this. So we'll use a mesh and you can see here, I didn't make it even tall enough and even eyeballing it, you can't quite get it right. Okay, so we'll use these cylinders as a guide to place the fastener on the top of each one. Now let's use the trim tool with a rectangle select and cut a slot in these just to give it a little different look. And once you have the first two placed, now it's just the same process again, nothing different. And it'll be the same thing. You can delete those two cylinders and then just place all these objects down. Just remember to use the gizmo to drag them straight down on the plane and put them on your surface. And then from there, adjust them as needed. Okay, now this is the last one. This one's kind of cool, and this is something that would be harder to do in radial symmetry. You can, but this is a pretty easy way to do it. So we're, same thing, starting with the same process, cloning and rotating a copy, but we're gonna use two different sets of degrees here. First, we're gonna use 15 degrees for a set and clone those and mer simple merge them together. So then we're gonna clone that set of four and rotate those on 45 degrees and now you can have sets going all the way around this perimeter. This would be a much harder process to do in radial symmetry itself. You can see here that's pretty slick. It drops two at different intervals. Just remember to use numbers that are going to divide into 360 to get even spacing and you can change it however you want them. Hey, thanks for watching. And if this video helped you at all, please like and subscribe. All right, I'll see you next time. Thanks.